I don't trust uh, President-elect Trump. I'm in mourning because we're about to put the alt-right in the White House. To have Steve Bannon, the who who gave, not only led the uprising, they, they did, I will say, they did, Breitbart did identify some of this economic anxiety, but they also identified some of this white supremacy, uh, some of this racism, some of this xenophobia, this sexism. And to put Steve Bannon... You're forgetting anti-Semitism. Oh, yes, anti-Semitism. That was right up there at the top. So to put that as the chief of staff in the White House, the people's house... I'm, I just I just can't. Obviously, we all want the nation to succeed. What do you think about the Steve Bannon pick, if that's, a, if that's actually what's going to happen? Uh, do you have a match somewhere so that I could set my hair on fire? <laughs> Look, I think, uh, I think that... Uh, you, well, you don't approve, is I'm guessing what that is. What, what that I, I don't approve, and I suspect a lot of Republicans in Congress don't approve. I think it's a very important first step. It's a first uh, sign of what kind of president Donald Trump is going to be when he takes over. And the chief of staff job is incredibly important. It sets the tone. It really is. What's wrong with Mr. Bannon? Uh, do you know Steve Bannon? Have I've you never, read about I, Steve Bannon? I, What's wrong with him? Okay. He is polarizing. He has been incredibly critical of so many Republicans, even in Congress. He has led uh, Breitbart News, which has been savage on folks. And I think it sends the message that he's not going to be a unifying president. It is his choice, right? Chief of staff, White House staff don't have to go through confirmation. It is absolutely the president's choice. But if he chooses somebody of that ilk, I think he's sending a very strong message that no, he's not going to be conciliatory. No, he's not going to work in cooperation with Congress. No, he's not going to try to unify this country. No, he's not going to represent everybody. And I think it's going to put the fear that's already out there and, uh, you know, just increase it exponentially.